What's going on everyone? In this video, we will learn what is logistic regression, where it is used, and with a simple example, we will try to understand how to apply logistic regression. So let's get started. I am Jay Patel and I upload new videos on machine learning every week. So make sure to hit the red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon. And for now, let's jump to this board. Logistic regression is a machine learning model which is used for the binary classification. Now you might ask what is binary classification? Uh, binary classification is where our output predictions can only take one of the two possible values. For example, it can be either 0 or 1 or it can be either true or false. Well, some of the applications where the logistic regression can be used in real world can be to classify if the email is a spam or not. Or to find out if the transaction is fraud or not. Or it can be also to find out if the person having a disease or not or to find out if the tumor is a malignant or not. So you can see that logistic regression is used when our output prediction can take either of the values, means either this value or that value. Now this can be very well understood with the help of this example. Let's say our goal is to predict if the person is having a heart disease or not based on our input feature which is age. For simplicity, I have taken a very simple data set where we are only considering only one input feature that is the age of the person. So now how can we make new predictions based on this given data set? One thing we can do is draw an approximate straight line that fits this data set and we can consider that straight line as the probability if the person is having a heart disease or not. What do I mean by that? Let me show you. Now based on this straight line, what we can do is we can predict if the person is having heart disease or not for a new input features. For let's say if we want to find if the, if the person having this age has a heart disease or not, then what we can do is we can go to this line and see what is the value of this. So this value will serve as the probability for us. So this is this much is the probability that the person is having a heart disease. And if this probability is above 0.5, then we will classify it as one. Or if it, the probability is below 0.5, we will classify it as zero. But this approach actually has one flaw. You can see that uh, the straight line cannot actually fit properly to this data set. You will see a lot of gaps here, 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 here. Also, let's say if you want to predict if the person having this age has a heart disease or not, then this method will give us actually the wrong value because it is classifying zero. So how to overcome this? One thing we can do to, is to draw a curve that actually fits appropriately to this data set, like this kind of curve. So you can see that this curve actually fits more appropriately to the data set. And it is also more likely to give us the right predictions. But how do we draw this curve? So this curve is actually called as a sigmoid curve. And sigmoid curve looks something like this. So sigmoid curves takes the 0.5 as the value when our x is 0 and when our x is very large it takes roughly 1 as the value. Not exactly 1 but like 0.99999 or so. And when the x is very low it takes almost close to 0 as the value. And the formula for this curve is 1 upon 1 plus of e power minus x. Now what we can do is we can take the traditional straight line that we draw with this formula y equal to mx plus c, the straight line that we draw before and apply this straight line a sigmoid curve. So we will just apply sigmoid of y which will be sigmoid of mx plus c and we will get this curve. And that's how we plot a curve that fits best to our data set and make our prediction. Now this was only for one of the input feature. Let's say if our data set has n number of features, then our equation of the straight line can be given by. Now here w's are the parameters which can also be called as weights and x are our features, our input features. Now we just have to apply sigmoid over this equation 
and we can make predictions for any data set with any number of features. We can also represent this equation in the form of matrix as y equals to w transpose x plus b. Now this w represent the matrix of all these w's and it is of the shape n comma 1. In other words, we can pass this input feature vector with our weights and b to get w transpose x plus b. So x will be represented in the form of matrix of all the input features which will be multiplied with w transpose and summation with b to get our w transpose x plus b. Now this will then pass to our sigmoid curve which will give our final predictions. And this final predicting value represents the probability of the person having a heart disease or not. So if this probability is greater than 0.5, then we will classify it as 1, means the person has a heart disease. If this probability is less than 0.5, then we will classify it as 0. So that was about logistic regression. Now we need to train this input weight or the parameters so that our curve best fits to our given data set. And when our curve will fit best to our given data set, then we can make accurate predictions. To do that, we need to use something called cost function. Now click on this video where we will understand what is cost function for logistic regression. So I see you there.